Karadu Sapranda Kala Pratesa de Bagata Shekate Katepakata You must conquer greed. Write it down. The one cancer behind the the restraint of God to bless many people. Greed. 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 You know, most people think rich people are the ones who are greedy. I tell you this sincerely. The reason why many poor people, poor Christians especially, who have an advantage of the Holy Spirit. If you have an advantage of the Holy Spirit and he's watching you poor, there's something you are doing to him. He is there as the advantage in your life. Greed. Many believers are greedy. It's shown in their givings. You started giving 10 naira as a student, as offering. And now you are director. You are giving 20 naira. Is that the measure of the lifting of God upon your life? No. Greed. Closely related to greed, please write. Selfishness. A selfish generation will never become an impactful generation. Please listen very carefully. Jesus Christ is speaking to us. A selfish generation will never become an impactful generation. What is selfishness? Look at this. Come, doctor selfishness and self-centeredness is when you desire something so bad you do not care what effect it creates on others selfishness is not desiring good things it is desiring good things to the point that you do not care what it does to others that means that i so want to get to this speaker i don't care if i match and i match and i put dr emeka i just want to reach there there are many of us who are like that many nigerians are like that and i'm cautioning you because it's a spirit everywhere it's like nobody cares about the effect of what they are they are wanting to rise causes for others i want to be a ceo i will if possible to be that ceo me myself the language of our generation is what is in it for me once there is nothing in it for you it's not your business no it's not the language of great people great leaders great leaders are selfless people great people are selfless people the bible says looking up to did not come to the earth to pursue an agenda of himself please listen to me i've taught us that it is about us but not all about us when your life becomes all about you then you are in trouble this ministry was founded upon selflessness truly selflessness many of you as you are now god is helping you but you want to so grow and rise there is none of our children here that is going to school because of your school fees you are waiting till the day you become a millionaire some of them their school fees is two thousand three thousand ten thousand you are so engrossed you can package hundred thousand and bring let me lay hands on you to climb the ladder fast but a little child can come and hug you and say, Uncle, I'm not going to school. Let me join. Am I your, am I your, your father? You see that? Selflessness. Selflessness. The selfishness in our world is so terrible. So terrible. People will do anything. 
are not mind. They will, they will hit your car on the road because they want to hurry up. Break your, your, your what they call it, your side mirror and just hold you and say sorry. I see that's the solution to it. I'm in a hurry. To where? How about many of us here? You don't care if your siblings rise. Listen, you are not called to carry everybody's load in your life. But you are called to at least pay attention to the effect of what your rising is creating. You can't ignore everybody and your whole world is about you. Ladies, listen to me. Because you are the ones that are most hit with this mindset. It is always about me. My money is for me. My everything is for me. Someone can give you 2,000 naira recharge card as a seed. You will flash him to call you so you will say thank you. What do we call that? Greed and selfishness. Listen. Listen to me. Many of our parents today, many of our parents, respectfully speaking and with due honor to our elderly people here, many of our parents, this is what closed their door. They were so willing to succeed that they kicked every destiny helper out. And when they got to a place where they needed help, there was nobody to help them now. When they were in the civil service, some of them got to the echelon of their, their pursuit. They never raised anybody. All they were concerned about is me. I must sit down and eat. And now they've retired. No young person can come and say, sir, in 1995 it was because of you i got a job today i've come with a seed to say thank you let me tell you sincerely speaking many of us here are young people but let me tell you if you are old and nobody sees the need to take care of you and to say thank you it's a sign that you spent your life in selfishness and greed are we together last year during my birthday the greatest gift that was given to me was a letter by my little children they write me letters all the time they write all kinds of things but i love their letters and i read every one of it they draw love they write jesus on it they try to draw my face they write you have been a nice daddy thank you those things mean a lot to me than chicken than whatever it is you eat those things and go to the toilet and it's all but those things are a reflection it's a sign that when you are old those ones they can come to you and say make sure this person never cries even in old age you say but it's not your father he said he was better than my father if nobody can remember you for good it's a sign that you are digging the grave already even while you are alive please hear me great people are not great because they are pursuing all they want it's not all about you everything god gives you people should rejoice with you because they know that by the grace of god and with all humility even if it's the crumbs from the table it will reach them i look at us please look at me i can tell you why god has not answered your prayer of financial prosperity the extent of greed that in your being blessed nobody nobody many of us are so greedy and selfish that anytime you are blessing somebody they know that you are looking for something whether you are looking for a life partner or you are looking for a destiny helper or you are looking for for something it is not you to give I think if I stop giving it may affect me. I may even fall down and die. 
but you know apostle we are not very blessed it's you people that god has helped that is the talk of a greedy person if you can't give clothes there is food one day you can make up your mind to cook two pots of food and call somebody and say i may not do much now but i am breaking the spirit of greed please come and eat in my house they come the next day and say no 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 i was only training myself don't come every day don't be ashamed of saying it because human beings will always take you for granted you do it once and pursue them and don't feel bad tell them please at training i will, when when i get to that realm you will come but for now come and eat are we together say in the name of jesus the spirit of greed the spirit of selfishness i curse it from my life many believers are like that two women or two men can be talking i can be talking with dr emeka and in his presence i will bring out two thousand naira buy egg roll and minerals and hold it while we are talking and finish it and eat the egg roll and squeeze the leather and match it Papa. it's inhuman to live like that giving is living you must trust god for grace don't wait till you are a millionaire i'm telling you listen this these are belief systems that will make your life exceptional god will never trust a greedy and a selfish person when he sends a word to jacob is because jacob can let that word reach israel if god gives you money can god look at many people in koinonia today and say instead of blessing five people and giving them school fees i know they are coming but can i bless you and then they rejoice the angels rejoice and say these children have gone to school why because one person was blessed what does it take for god to give you a job what does it take for god to turn the economic tide in your life it takes more than studying business let me tell you it takes more than we've taught you a lot and you know that there are astute business people in this place we're not just men of god we're not daft people we're economically sound we're financially sound but i tell you this much more than just the value you give who you are is higher than what you do i had a conversation of recent with a very wealthy man such a rare privilege and i met him and i asked him one question i said sir let me ask you one question i said what kind of people will you be looking for at this level and he looked at me and smiled and said apostle you are very smart i said thank you sir my mind was just on the answer and he said should i tell you honestly he said yes and then he kept quiet and took a deep breath he said i will answer you in a story and then he told me a story and at the end of it he said let me test i already told you you're intelligent what kind of people do you think i'll be needing i said trustworthy people he said that's it the morale of the story he gave me was that he would pay any amount to have people who are selfless enough he said every storekeeper and every foreman he employed cheated him and 95 percent of them were christians recommended by pastors he sincerely told me that the non-believers who have handled that branch of his business have been more honest than even the people because of greed 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 let them know that the word is working so you steal everything you steal cement you steal everything and sell it and quietly cover it up do you not know that when truth was buried it came out of the grave hallelujah there are very very listen let me teach you this if you are a businessman here please more than value and productivity look for selfless people when you find selfless people you have not found cheap people 
you have found priceless people our generation is full of everybody who is looking for everything for myself let me quickly cash in on the moment while i have the time some of you looking at me now as born again as you are let me keep you in a room with plenty money scattered if i count it you will behave because it's counted but let me just scatter it and leave you you will first check whether there's a cctv look around and pray in tongues so that those outside would think there's prayer going on and you just bend as if you are sweeping and carry one and put in your pocket who do you think is watching god alone demons angels the demons that will oppress you and you will shout in the name of jesus <laughs> are you joking please i pray for you in the name of jesus that the grace to be selfless may that grace come upon you yeah. there are nurses that are not selfless is that not so in your hospital there are doctors that are not selfless a woman comes she wants to give birth and they're acting as a please madam if you would die self, just die there whereas that woman has been trusting god for a child for 12 years and you see the greed and the selflessness are you from my tribe are you from my place are you from here no selflessness i these are the things i pray for for myself these are the things that have brought blessings to my life that you show god i told you that the lord told me if you will let men see me there is nothing i will not give you there are many of you that desire anointing apostle anoint me and i look at you it's not even god even me i know the things you will do if that anointing really comes yeah. you will first run to your enemies and say you are finished you don't know what i'm carrying just know it's over and if you think i'm joking you you will die tomorrow you you will die on thursday by the time you kill people in a row in one week you say what this grace is powerful even me i didn't know it's this powerful listen to my message can god trust you go and listen to it please media let our family online and in diaspora listen to that message can god trust you powerful message many times it is not just in the fasting and the prayer as powerful as it is is positioning yourself god let me be your treasurer on earth the last treasurer betrayed you here is a faithful one and god is saying can i trust you say yes trust me god gives you five hundred thousand. your spirit is still sound your head is still sound and he sees how you bless people you say you did this for me let me take it to another level whereas all your prayer from your small mind is god give me five million. Oh god give me five five million will change my life based on what your mind told you whereas he's thinking of giving you gold as dust and giving you the keys to the hearts of nations lord give me the grace to prophesy as soon as god gives you that grace you just say i found my stream of income i'm not wasting my time for anything again i will never prophesy free i it didn't it was not i got the anointing at a cost and god says you see your heart you were there fasting i warned you and now that you have the anointing and because it is valuable people will now begin to pay hundred thousand per prophecy thirty thousand per prophecy and the truth is that the grace will work and while you are paying and paying you are happy you are building houses collecting people's houses collecting people's cars and doing all of that god is watching you he's watching you because he knows one day you will exhaust that realm so you'll go back again and say lord i'm here he said, it's not me you are talking to it's not me you are talking to i gave you a grace i saw what you did with that grace lord give me the kind of apostles grace and he tests you 20 missed calls by 1 a.m you don't answer any one of them the 21st one you call and say let me tell you something i'm a human being too i sleep i this i that i hate you don't do this to me again the next time you do and god says look at the grace you want listen 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 please look at me selflessness is an unusual virtue 
that is the reason why not everybody has it why will you reward everybody when they have the same thing dr mike murdoch says that our similarities create our comfort it's our difference that creates our reward hallelujah how far can you go for the sake of people how far can you go for the sake of god some of you have vehicles you've never carried anybody after service even if it's raining you horn them and say you are going and god is watching and you already say no god i'm trusting you to give me one car that i saw on my way going somewhere and god says you think i'm stupid there are some of you even if it's on a bike or a bicycle you will never help anybody may god never give you anything that you will regret yeah. did you hear what i said may god never give you anything that you will say i feel pain that i gave this man this